Welcome to this video about using OCI utilities to create, attach, detach and destroy iSCSI block volumes to and from an instance in Oracle Cloud Infrastructure. Before the OCI utilities package was available, after attaching a block volume device to an instance through the Cloud Web Console, you had to use the iSCSI administration commands on the instance to manually attach and detach the device. With OCI utils, you have the OCI-iSCSI-config command and a daemon to easily create and manage volume attachments on the instance and in the cloud. When the OCI utils daemon runs, it automatically looks for iSCSI block volumes available in the cloud compartment and attached through the console. It also supports the creation and removal of devices in the cloud resources from the command line as well as attachment of those devices to and from the Linux instance. Here we can see a synopsis of the OCI-iSCSI-config command and its options. Only some of these will be used in this video. To be able to create block volumes and automatically attach them to an instance, you need to provide permissions for your instance to administer storage resources in your Oracle Cloud infrastructure. Creating, attaching and detaching volumes through the web console is discovered on the instance by the OCI utils, which uses the OCI.service daemon to discover changes. To use resources in the cloud from the command line, permissions must be in place for the instance to utilize the cloud resources. One way is to set up an API private and public key pair between the instance and the Cloud Web Console user. To do this, an OCI setup config script from the OCI CLI utilities package, Python 36-OCI-CLI, is used to create the keys and a configuration file. The package this command belongs to is not part of the OCI utils tools and only used to set up the key pair. You can see the steps to create the API key pair in the video called Enabling OCI Utilities in Oracle Linux and Oracle Cloud Infrastructure Instances. To manually attach and detach block devices to and from the instance, you do not need to create the API keys or assign storage permissions. However, to create or destroy block volumes in the cloud resources from the instance does need the additional permissions or authentication keys configured. Remember to always check you have the latest OCI utils and supporting Python SDK packages installed. Use the command yum install python 36-oci-sdk python 36-oci-cli. Then verify the OCI utils daemon service is started with the command systemctl status ocid.service. So let's manually attach a block volume created in the web console of our Oracle Cloud infrastructure to our instance. Here in the web console, we're looking at the details page of our instance. To attach a block volume under resources, we click on attached block volumes. There are none currently attached. To attach one, we click attach block volume. In the dialog, we choose iSCSI for the attachment type and verify the correct compartment where the volume device was created. Then from the block volume dropdown, we will select mor-demo-bv20. We leave the rest as default and click attach. We acknowledge the info dialog by clicking close and we can see the volume is attaching to our instance. After a few minutes, it shows attached. Without OCI utils discovering the device, we would have to use iSCSI ADM commands to attach it to our instance. To see these, we can click on the three dots menu beside our listed block volume and then the iSCSI commands and information. This dialog shows us the iSCSI ADM commands used to manually attach and detach and also the IP address and port, as well as the volume IQN for the device. If we were using these, we could click the copy links in the dialog to copy information to our clipboard for use. We don't need it, so we can close the window and return to our instance terminal. Let's run the command oci-iscsi-config show. We see the device attached by name and also available devices in our compartment. Running the command oci-iscsi-config show dash dash details we now see the devices attached available by their IQN and details of their name, OCID, portal address and size. However, the IQN is only a partial IQN shown, so to see the full details, we run the command oci-iscsi-config show dash dash details dash dash no dash truncate. And now we see the full details. The default output for the show option is in the table form. To see a textual output, we use the command oci-iscsi-config show dash dash output dash mode equals text. And for more details, run the same command with the dash dash details option. Okay, so if we wanted, we could now partition and mount the attached device, 
but for this demonstration it's not needed. Let's create a block volume device from our instance using OCI utils. Looking at our instance terminal, we run the command oci-iscozy-config show dash dash details to see what volumes are attached or available to our instance. We see one attached device and one available device, but we will now create a new device and have it attached to our instance. Using the command oci-iscozy-config create dash capital S 70 dash dash volume dash name equals mor dash demo dash bv 70 dash dash attach dash volume creates a new block volume device of 70 gigabytes size and attaches it to the instance. Running this command takes a few minutes to complete. We see that after creating the device it is also attached to our instance. Running the command oci dash iscozy dash config show dash dash details we now see the new volume mor dash demo dash bv70 is attached and available to be partitioned and used. Returning to our cloud web console we are looking at the instance details. Under resources we click on attached block volumes and now see the newly created volume listed as attached for our instance. If we wanted to detach the volume we could go to the three dots menu and select detach but we want to use the OCI tills to do this from the instance so we won't select it here. Back on our instance terminal and running the command oci iscozy config show dash dash details dash dash output dash mode equals text we can see our new attached device to detach the device we run the command oci iscozy config detach dash capital i and copy and paste the iqn of the device to the command line it takes a few minutes to complete the detachment returning to our web console our instance details has already refreshed and shows no device attached anymore. Using the console menu and navigating to block storage and block volumes, we see the volume is now listed as available for use by some other instance. So now let's look at removing or destroying a block volume in our cloud using OCI utils on the command line of our instance. We're back on the terminal of our instance and I have cleared the screen. Running the command oci iscozy config show dash dash details dash dash output dash mode equals text we see the volumes available to our instance and in this case we want to terminate the mor dash demo dash bv70 volume from our cloud before we can do this with a volume we must be sure it is not still attached to an instance in our web console we've already detached this volume from our instance in the console so it's okay to continue we run the command oci dash iscozy dash config destroy dash capital O and copy and paste in the OCID of the volume to be destroyed. We are asked to confirm this by typing Y and enter. This is a quick process and we see it is destroyed. We can verify this by running the OCI dash iscozy dash config show dash dash details and we see it's no longer listed. Returning to our web console we can see the volume is marked terminated and will soon be automatically removed from the list. Oracle provides an extensive number of resources which you can use to learn more about this subject and others. Use the links here to find more content about this video as well as Oracle Linux and using Linux and Oracle Cloud infrastructure. That's the end of the video. Thanks for watching.